multiple industries are adopting blockchain technology to innovate the way they function. We've covered many of them in past videos, but we realized there was a major industry that we didn't look into, and the results were so interesting that we had to add a new video to our real-world blockchain series. That industry is healthcare. It's impossible to overstate the importance of the healthcare industry. Having said that, it is easily one of the slowest industries for adopting change. With regards to the patient experience, hospitals still function pretty much the same way they did 20 years ago. Now, obviously, it's incorrect to say that there have been no innovations in the medical field for 20 years, but we need to look at the type of innovation we've seen. Vertical innovation for the healthcare industry is growing rapidly all the time. Life expectancy is rising, and we're seeing better and more effective medications all the time. This is great. Horizontal innovation, however, is where the trouble lies. The internet, cloud computing, AI, blockchain, these are all horizontal innovations, broad technologies that can make several industries better, faster, and more efficient. So when we say that the healthcare industry is notoriously slow in accepting change, we're talking strictly about horizontal innovations. The fact that many hospitals still keep records on paper is a testament to that. Interoperability is a major problem affecting the healthcare industry. Improving the way different healthcare providers are able to share, search, and query medical records is a top priority for providers and policymakers. So, what are the two major stumbling blocks when it comes to interoperability? The trouble of identifying patients and information blocking. One of the most surprising things that we learned while researching for this guide is that there is still no universally recognized patient identifier, despite the fact that organizations like Chime and HIMSS have been pushing hard for its development. This is truly shocking when you consider the fact that a unique patient identifier would easily solve the problems of mismatched electronic health records. The inability to reliably identify patients leads to a reduced quality of care and an increased chance of patient harm. According to the director of the Center for Biomedical Informatics, Sean Granis, statistics show that up to one in five patient records are not accurately matched even within the same healthcare system. As many as half of the patient records are mismatched when data is transferred between healthcare systems. This needs to be improved. The next major issue is information blocking. In the healthcare industry, information blocking is imposing unreasonable constraint on the exchange of patient information. Blocking takes place because of policies that prevent the sharing of information, as well as practices that make sharing impractical. The reason for this is pretty straightforward. Hospitals don't want to lose out on patients. 50% of health information exchange professionals have reportedly engaged with health-based IT companies participating in information blocking. 25% also said that hospitals and health systems themselves are guilty of this practice. So these are the issues we want to tackle with the blockchain. And how do we do it? If you've watched our other real-world blockchain videos, you already know many of the key features that blockchains have to offer. If you haven't, you should check them out at the annotation here. Let's imagine a private blockchain network that connects insurance providers, hospitals, IT companies, anyone that could need your information at any given time. Patients would not only have a completely unique hash ID, but they would also have complete control over their own records and data. In order to get your information, the institution would send a request and you could confirm or deny them. It wouldn't be up to the hospital or any shady intermediaries. If you want to change healthcare providers and want to be sure that they have all your necessary history, you can make that choice. Each patient's unique hash ID would be generated by putting some of their information into a SHA-256 algorithm. The resulting output would then be assigned to you and stored on the blockchain. With regards to mismatching patients when searching or moving medical records, a typical SHA-256 hashing algorithm has over 115 quattrovigintillion unique outputs. That should probably be enough to make sure nothing overlaps. So what we have is a more robust system with more unique patient ID possibilities than the number of stars in the Andromeda galaxy and removes the information blocking power from the hands of the institutions. You would gain control over your ability to seek the best healthcare options for yourself and the healthcare industry would gain reliable data and freedom from profit-seeking information constraints. Let's touch on one more major benefit of a healthcare blockchain that could open up incredible new opportunities, research. A private comprehensive healthcare database could be made to allow anonymous data release and searching. This means that anyone looking to study trends, effects of certain treatments, at-risk demographics, or any other kind of research could put out mass offers to the system that would allow you to release relevant data to them anonymously. This would create a huge bank of research access that is unheard of today. The best part is that it would still be in your control. Researchers would have a much easier time gathering datasets if they only needed to ask one major source. And if you don't want to be part of a study, you don't need to be. But if you wanted to lend your information to help better medical research and maybe make some money, it would be that much easier to do so.